Welcome everyone to Retro Game Treasure Tuesday. And as always, we'll be using our highly advanced grading system to see just how good this month's box really is. Let's get right to it and check out Millipede on the NES. I was never the biggest fan of this game, but I'll no doubt stop and play it for a bit if I come across it at a convention. It's fine in small doses, but I do get bored rather quickly. It could be that I have a really short attention span, though. Anyway, I feel like the NES could have done much better than this. It controls fine overall. I just feel the graphics are a bit lackluster. But then again, I guess it's comparable to the arcade. I'm typically a bit too generous with arcade games, but this one, I'm going to give it a C. Next up, we got Pinocchio on the Super Nintendo. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about this game. As a kid, I played a lot of the Disney games on the Genesis. Aladdin, Castle of Illusion, Lion King, well, up to stage two at least. Anyway, it controls fine, and like other Disney games, the animation is pretty good. It really does surprise me what they could do with 16-bit graphics back in the day. The main issue I had with this game was I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Hell, I didn't even make it past the first stage. There's random pages that you collect, but I couldn't tell you why. If I knew what I was doing, I probably would have enjoyed it more, but I didn't hate what I played. I'm going to give this game a B, but my opinion might change the more I play it. Last up, we got LEGO Racers on the N64. It's a kart racer. This is another game I don't feel like I've heard many people talk about. Is it better than Mario Kart or Diddy Kart Racing? No, not really. But it's not bad in its own right. Overall, it controls fine. Hell, if I can play it, anyone can play it. The graphics I feel could have been better, but whatever. Of course, like other kart racers, you can collect power-ups to make your opponent's lives a living hell. There's even an option to build your own racer, which is pretty cool. I feel like there should have been a track editor, though. But maybe I'm asking too much. Overall, I can't say I had a bad time with this one. Sure, it may not be as polished as other kart racers, but there is fun to be had. And like always, I'm sure it would be more fun with a friend. I thought this game was okay in its own right. I'm gonna give it a B. Well, anyway, guys, that gives us a surprising score of B. Not a bad way to start the year. Thanks again for watching, guys. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you again next time.